And so my question is, is really the difference between Austin and these other ecosystems, is it really at this point just scale? Is it, okay, fine, to get to the next level? Because you, you, you and I always joke after in, on LinkedIn that LA is the next one up, right? Is it really just, okay, right. we just got to grow 3x and that's it and we've caught LA? Yep. Or is there something philosophical? Is there something fundamental that there's actually different between a place like Austin that's still sitting outside the superstar tier and, and those? It's a s nuanced question. And I think, you know, my offhand comment last time about people talking nerdy to each other in coffee shops is in one hand flippant, but the other pretty indicative of the kind of vibe. At some point, it really isn't necessarily about the next marginal dollar. It's about the vibe of the place. Is it a place in which startup, the startup ecosystem like finds a real significant home? I think that's already been true in Austin. So to answer your question directly, is the difference between Austin and say, LA, New York, Boston, San Francisco, merely a question of scale? I think in some ways it is a question of scale because uh, as we saw from those per capita numbers and things, like it's going to be very difficult for Austin to catch say San Francisco as this is the company town for startups. But I think the scale can be different in different parts of the ecosystem. So a great example of this is there's a ton of optimism right now if we look across the world in Australia about startups. And one of the reasons is because they all expect Canva to go public soon. And there's going to be this moment when it happens, or people are supposing that when that happens, there's going to be this like wake up moment where people are like, this is real. Look at all the capital that all of these angels and early employees and Canva people got. And then that's going to be recycled into the ecosystem. And so like one big exit they're hoping has like this starting gun kind of vibe to the Australian ecosystem and tech, which is already pretty, pretty lively. That strikes me as one potential scale idea, right? Like exits and recycled capital. So at the very highest end, that can supercharge an ecosystem. The other kind of scale is at the very beginning. And that I think is the hard part when you look at Texas or non-startup ecosystems. It's like, do what, if we're being honest, what do rich individuals in this ecosystem do with their cash? Do they invest into real estates or REITs or the stock market, or do they angel invest? And in the Bay, it's very rare to come across someone with any sort of capital who hasn't heard of angel investing or hasn't dabbled in it a little bit. And I think that that is a good marker of like, what percentage of people who have a lot of disposable income take some of that and put it into startups? Maybe that's the scale. That's like the next up part. And candidly, I think Austin could probably surpass places like LA in that without too much difficulty over the next three or five years. Hmm. No, I like that. There's, there's always been that. That's always been an interesting thing hearing about. Um, and that that's come up that there's so many people are in oil and gas or real estate and unlocking yeah. that in. And I do think that a lot more of the people who have moved here over the last couple of years starts to unlock that because of the level that they're at. It's not just, hey, I'm so-and-so founder, please invest in me, or, the, or I'm emerging manager. It starts to be, hi, I'm, you know, I've made a billion dollars off of this. Uh, yeah. off of this. You should start thinking about putting, you know, capital play in this direction. Yes, I think it's, and some of that is, you know, as we've spoken about before, just those people who are investing currently in real estate, running into the right person at a party that tells them, hey, I've actually made two startup investments and they kind of get interested. And they, it's like a, you, it's a completely unplanned, but sort of density argument where enough people talking about these sorts of things that it becomes, it sh shifts from kind of rare to, huh, like a good portion of my friends are doing it to, I got to do it.